过往，潮汐将我的伤痕刻蚀成龙鳞，吐息中酝酿着风雨，血脉更续。在我皮肉下交织成命运，扎根于烈火烧灼的心。茉莉竟是做我的骨骼，放任飓风从喉中挣脱，用传说重塑。
No, oh, come on. In the very moment I start streaming. That bodes well. Okay, let me move the game so I can see the chat box. <laughs> I can't actually see it. There we go. Was that nothing important? Huh, I guess I could have looked at it sooner. Okay, uh. Actually, what was. Who was I working on doing stuff for? <clears throat> it wasn't Himuko. All her relics are fine. Oh, yeah, it was Natasha. I recently started working on trying to get all my healers really good. You know, getting those two was infuriating. I got that. But the bracer refused to go through. <laughs> now I'm stuck on those and then later these. She actually doesn't have what she's supposed to have. So I'm guessing when I first set her up, I wasn't, I wasn't using the website yet. Anyway, this is the first time I've opened the game today, so I haven't actually done my daily crap. <laughs> so, guess what you guys get to watch? <laughs> I guess the start of the stream will be another one of those why I don't show this and... <sighs> that reset, huh? I gotta say, I kinda get sick of doing the simulated universe. I usually just do World 8, highest difficulty I can, and then send my characters through, auto battle, hit the next enemy, auto battle, all until I win. And if I don't win, I still get points, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I usually only go far enough to get all this other jade. <laughs> I don't care about getting all of it half the time. <clears throat> We will be doing the storyline, don't worry. It's just, this is the first time I've opened the game today, so I'm gonna need to do this before I forget. And I assure you, I can and will forget. Mm, I have a very easy time forgetting things. That loading is ominous. Just give it a second. Do do do. There we go. By the way, I unfortunately had to swap out March because her shield just wasn't good enough anymore. I had to bring a healer in. Now I don't mind Laucha. But sometimes his auto heal has really bad timing. And I mean this for Blade. Because some of his moves actually heal him. And so then Lacha wastes that auto heal. <laughs> it's like, no, don't do it. <laughs> Hence, the main reason I started working on my other healers. And Byler is okay. But I think she could use some buffs. Like, for one thing... Natasha and Laucha can both get rid of a debuff. <laughs> Heck, even March can do that. Branya can effing do that. But little Bailu can't. Why? 
take your positions. Indeed. Savor it for me. This is my go-to method of dealing with this. I just auto battle and do something else till they're done. Yeah, that right there. That's one of the ways Blade heals himself. There's also if his health is really low and he does his ult, he also heals from that. Of course, if his HP is full and he ults, then he takes off half his HP bar. <laughs> I do like Bailu because she heals multiple party members at once. It's really, really nice. Either with her, just her skill, or with her ultimate. Savor it for me. I want to get her, her light cone, but the thing is a little jerk face. <laughs> I did open this up on the stream, right? Okay, I did. Good. Just making sure. Okay, did I put this through? I'm just checking things while they're auto-battling. Don't mind me. Okay, that looks fine. And I actually didn't test the audio, which was a really stupid idea. I should have tested to make sure it was okay. Well. Well, I can kind of hear that. Well, I can kind of hear that. Well, I hear me fine. I think it's okay. Oh, good timing. <laughs> Prefer gold, but I don't know if that's even correct. Oh wait! No, that is that is correct! That's what she needs. I'm referring to Natasha, of course. Again, I prefer it if it's gold, but I will take anything at this point. Although, what is her shoe supposed to be? I'm really, really hoping it's not speed, because I swear, anything speed hates to drop. I'm gonna go open the website for character builds. Savor it for me. I am Mario was telling me a bit ago that Firefly is really powerful. It makes me want to try for her again, but I have already decided I'm not going to do it. Not unless people feel like donating a little bit of money. Cause I gotta tell you, struggling for stellar jades without having to pay for them is really effing infuriating. And I've done it way too many times now. So I kind of don't want to keep struggling for Stellar Jade. I wouldn't mind Firefly, but I don't want her that bad. Dang it, Natasha's shoe should be speed. Gosh darn. <sighs> Fine. Oh, you kill that thing. Has to be speed, doesn't it? Like, if you're wondering why I have such a peeve with struggling for Stellar Jade, that's because basically ever since I started playing the game, there's been a character on the banners that I want. And I'm not kidding about that. I've told this story before, but when I first started, Blade had three days left on his banner. I sunk effing $50 into the game on accident trying to get the man. <laughs> and I would say accident because I didn't realize how much I spent. <laughs> My brother asked me about it later and then laughed at me when I told him it was an accident. <laughs> it genuinely was an accident. I didn't realize I spent that much and gosh darn you. We can do it again. It's fine. I don't let Trailblaze go below 120 if I can help it. But anyway, I sunk 50 into the game for Blade. 
got him on his last 20 effing hours. Neither Maria or I could believe that happened. <laughs> and he's pretty much been in the party ever since, because he's really strong. Especially when you build him right, and you manage him so he doesn't kill himself on accident. <laughs> And then after that, uh, Maria and I learned that Don Hung and Barbara Lune was getting a rerun. And I didn't really care at first until I got to the Lafu and got to play him. And it's like, whoa, he's strong <laughs> and really fun to play. And I won't deny that Dragon Don Hung is very pretty. <laughs> So I ended up saving every single Stellar Jade, turning them into tickets as soon as possible. And I had 111 tickets by the time his banner came around. <laughs> I was down to 31 when I finally got him. And then I spent the rest of my tickets and Jade's trying to get his light cone. Eventually got it, but it took some effort. And then there's effing Jing Yuan. Oh my gosh, I was- that was so infuriating. I sunk 30 trying to get him and was told no every single dang time. I gave up after sinking $30 into the game and the next time I had enough tickets I got him. It's like, oh F you too game! <laughs> Jing Yuan had to be the most annoying one of struggling for Stellar Jades for tickets. I got myself up to level effing 70 just to deal with stuff in the simulated universe, Golden Gears, and Swarm, as well as the Forgotten Hall. Ugh. It was a pain. Like, seriously. Ugh. It was not fun. And then, of course, Jing Liu had to be on a banner. <laughs> I wanted a Venturine, but Jing Liu took everything. <laughs> and I can't afford to pay for this right now. I'll have to wait till I get my allowance. Oh well. Give me my 60 jades if you don't mind. Thank you. That's the most important part about that whole thing is my 60 stellar jade. Still say Leeway looks prettier. I, mean, I don't mind the La Fu, but I like Leeway and Genshin better. <laughs> no offense to your home, Don Hong. Seriously. No offense. Okay, Natasha. I got a new top for you. It's unfortunately purple. I'd prefer to get all gold if at all possible, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Not unless I get those one things. What do you currently have? Defense. Well... I wouldn't use that even if it was speed, because it'd be crap. <laughs> Alright, so I still don't have what's necessary for her in that regard. I need to replace these as well. Well, actually, that one's okay. Her planner sphere should be HP. But the link rope, that should be energy regen. So at some point I will have to do simulating the universe just to get those. <sighs> and good news though, her light cone is max and she's max. Although traces could use some work. Hey, switch over please. Alright, but we're down to 120 now, so I don't want to spend any more power. And yes, I know I have reserve. And I had 500 a few days ago, and I used a bunch of it. 
It only just got it back up to 400, so I'd rather not use more of it right now, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, let's go to Panacone then. I got my daily jades, I'm happy. <laughs> Alright then, let's get to it. I don't know about Thrusty, but I'm looking forward to leaving Epping Panacone. It's been a brain F that I did not need. I thought Bloodborne was bad sometimes, but phew! Panacone took the bloody cake! <laughs> By the way, do you think that'd be interesting? A restaurant theme for video games? It's still early. Where to now? Wait, did her line change? Wow, that floor is clean. Sounds like Oscar getting in trouble with Papa again. Dog is betting a thousand lately. <coughs> I'll leave Bailu and Party for now. If I have to switch to Lao I will. Ooh, I also gotta change the thumbnail. Crap. Later. This is familiar. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you still half asleep or something? The order's dream is over. Mr. Carr, you're awfully loud. You don't to, do not need to be going that fast. <sighs> Even though it's been a day, I still break into a sweat when I think about it. Our trailblazing expedition almost ended in Panacone. <laughs> no kidding. I'm so jealous that you got a good night's sleep. I was traumatized and too scared to even close my eyes i thought if i fell asleep i'd never wake up again don't blame her for feeling that way the stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping the ordinary people in panacone have no idea what happened they just feel like something's missing from their memories might be best if it stays that way for now the family's official statement was like the Charmony Festival was attacked by an unidentified <laughs> Stellaron and came to a halt. After all, you can't just reveal the truth about the Order. Yeah, I'd imagine that wouldn't go over well. Now, <clears throat> all the major lineages, except for the Oak family, are dealing with the aftermath. The family has invited the crew to the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses for an important meeting. Okay. Everyone's waiting for you, so hurry up and pack. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. <sighs> After all this craziness, nothing is better than staying safe in reality. I hear ya. It's a massive airship, and it's awesome. I heard it's never shown to the public. Only VIP guests of the family get to board it and enjoy the breathtaking views of Panacone. Hmm. The Iris family sent us a bunch of souvenirs. Fruit baskets, plus this fancy button model. After you're back on your feet, you can enjoy them all. We are pretty much celebrities on the planet of festivities now, aren't we? Yay. <laughs> I don't intend to come back unless I have no choice. Let's put that out there now. Of course, there's the chest I haven't opened yet, so that's part of my no choice. <laughs> the Stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping. The ordinary people in Panacone have no idea. The family's official statement. Okay, so that's just the same thing the she said already. Except for the Oak family. Why the sudden interest in that? Well, I was dragged into the sweet dream. I felt a cold tentacle diving into my memories, but something else was there. So the tentacle suddenly disappeared, and 
and then dreamed about stuffing my face with delicious food and going on a shopping spree. Sunday didn't seriously believe that was the life I wanted, right? <sighs> Breaking free from that cheesy illusion was just a piece of cake. Somehow I'm not sure. <laughs> you really watch? Well, she can't be serious now and then, but <laughs> come on. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> We've got some time before we board the ship, so let's catch up with everyone at Dream Jolt Hostelry. Hey. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about any coughing or throat clearing. I've been blowing my nose since I woke up. <laughs> How about not getting sick? <clears throat> spike there you already asked that when we first got here yeah and you said no back then but after all this madness I'd say you've grown fond of it <laughs> but just a heads up you're still on the bloodhound family's wanted list so keep a low profile and this time it's Firefly in the picture, not Sam. That's got to be a whole new experience for you, right? Indeed. In Kafka's words, that's also a missing part of my life. Still, it'd be quite inconvenient if I can't move freely. Could you help me out, Silverwolf? I knew you'd say that. Don't worry. I've hacked all the systems and left no trace. <laughs> don't do anything that may draw attention and don't talk with guards. They might recognize you. Keep these two points in mind and you can go wherever you want unbothered. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, Miss Samuel. <laughs> I love this fake name. <laughs> Now that we're done here in Panacone, what will you do in your free time? I hear the Genius Society is here. How about we go stir up some excitement? Really? <laughs> well, you know, my script isn't over yet. I didn't bring you back to hear an answer like that. Don't worry. The script says that I'll experience three deaths but also receive an unforgettable reward on the planet of festivities. How will I know if I don't try? All possibilities exist until the outcome actually happens. Right? You may not realize it, but you have a bad habit. Whenever you seem to be asking a question, you've already made up your mind, and no words will dissuade you. Your eyes are so pretty. Anyway, Kafka asked me to pass on this message. If you see <laughs> anything fabulous in Pentacony, get one for me too. Just swipe my card, you know the pin. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't specify anything, but I guess she means a dress, coat, sunglasses, or something else. You know better about fashion than I do. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. There's tons of options at OT Mall. <gasps> Do you think she'll like trinkets, like uh, 
hair accessories or brooches. This is cute. Those sound more like something for young girls. Maybe you should keep them for yourself. Oh, by the way, Blade didn't explicitly say it, but I think he was trying to say something like, Temptation will show up again in Panacone. <laughs> He's always so subtle with his words. Got it. He was just worried about me. Relax, Silver Wolf. You know me. <coughs> I won't do anything crazy. I just want to wander around and see more of the world for myself. <gasps> I want to buy some oat cake rolls. I've had a cake roll every day since I arrived in Penacone, from the first day to the last. <laughs> But today, I'll buy two and give you one. And if you don't like them, I'll enjoy double the pleasure. Or I can bring one to Kafka, as she never refuses. Or maybe I'll give it to Blade. He'll appreciate it. You sure about that? <laughs> That's not written in the script, right? But as you see, I have added new footnotes to my destiny. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, we're still doing this, huh? Okay, sure. A welcome. You ready Whoa. To pass? The family ambassadors are still inside making preparations, but... The big boss hasn't arrived yet. It'll be a while before the conference starts, I'm afraid. Huh. Quite a spectacle. The family really knows how to make things look impressive. <laughs> I thought they would choose a more formal and low-key location for the conference. I didn't expect them to go with a luxury airship. If we can't go in that pool, I'm not going to be happy. About this, Director. I've asked around. This airship, named uh, the Radiant Feldspar, belongs to the Alfalfa family. This conference between the IPC and the family will have a direct impact on Penacone's future. Such an important event should have been held at it. <sighs> well, somewhere secretive in the moment of morning dew. The atmosphere here... It doesn't feel serious enough. Hmm... <sighs> If I'm right, this conference is probably just a prelude. Whoever organized it wants to assess the IPC stance beforehand. This influential figure either has their own ambitions and wants to reach a preliminary agreement, or they plan to put pressure on us to make us back off. Ah, oh, your mind is always so sharp, Director Topaz. And when the big boss arrives, please remind her to be cautious and watch out for any traps. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, but I don't think that will be necessary. When she's at the table, it's the others who need to be cautious. We're talking about Jade? Just tell everyone on our team to stay focused on their tasks and not worry about the negotiations. Oh, got it. I'll do it right away. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Don't call Miss Jade Big Boss <laughs> in front of her, or there will be serious consequences. I mean, really serious. Uh, uh, got it. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, Director. I wondered. <laughs> well, he seems happy. Can I go in here? Ah, uh, I can go in, but it's really, I think, shallow. What are you doing, Debbie? Aw, <laughs> uh, it's so shallow. It'd be cool if you could actually swim in it. Whatever. Can't type everything. This is something else up here. That's for dang sure. 
You know, I don't think in real life I'd like a place like Pentagoni. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> There's a squirrel or something in the tree next to my window. None of the important figures have arrived yet. Huh. Looks like the conference won't be starting for a while. It's such a bustling place. I think I'll take a little walk around. Sure, we can look for chests. And with his help, it'll be really easy. That's one reason to get a hold of Topaz. With her little buddy, it's really easy to get stuff. Hello. I am super effing warm, by the way. I'm not really hot, because I assure you, if it was hot out, I would not be streaming. Probably gonna be able to hear my fan a little bit. Apologies. And it's on oscillate. Don't be on oscillate, man. Turn back toward me. Thanks. Well, let's fix this while I'm here. I want the jades. Okay, me, just don't overthink it. It's probably gonna be fine. Okay, how do these things work? Now, go over there so I can play with this. Okay, so that goes about right there. That goes there. You go all the way over here. Uh, can you go all the way down? You can. Okay. <coughs> Interesting. Oh, you're above that, okay. Just let me play with it for now, all right? <laughs> to anyone who's dissing me. I'm trying to see how it works to begin with. Can let me do that, can't you? Looks like I need to be a little higher up for that to work as it is. work like that, will it? I sort of feel like it wouldn't. I suppose I could be wrong, of course. She doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> Shut up. notice it makes that noise. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'll be straight with you guys. I'm not sure how to do this. those out, either on purpose or on accident, but right now does not seem to be my time. Talk to you in a sec. I want to go in here, too. 
There's balloons everywhere. Yeah, I figured you went that way because there was a chest. Ooh, goodies. <laughs> Cute. Oh, are you hungry, Numbi? Hmm, food in the dream. Huh, shouldn't taste bad, right? I would hope not. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> no? Ooh. Oops. Not to your liking, huh? Oh, sorry. I'll treat you to a nice meal once we get back to reality. Worth a try. <laughs> Out my way. I'm walking here. Oh, Jesus, a ton of those. How many centuries would it take to press them all? Uh, I know that voice. Huh. Didn't expect those pooches to actually recycle them all. <laughs> huh? What are these? For your safety, please stay away from those objects. For my safety? Are these buttons something dangerous? Yes. Not exactly. Lately, there's been a prankster in the sweet dream who's been handing out strange button devices to anyone he meets. According to those involved, he said something like, just press this button and all of Panacone will explode. That's not what Topaz said. Not Topaz. Sparkle. <laughs> my brain. Luckily, no one believed him. Still, the Bloodhound family collected these buttons just to be on the safe side. Where's that prankster? Haven't the hounds caught him yet? <laughs> yeah, that guy has some skills, I'll have to admit that. However, you know, the Bloodhound family won't give up. Whoever disrupts order in the dreamscape will face severe consequences. Anyway, the family will deal with these things. Please kindly keep your distance. Guessing you came here to get your buttons back. <laughs> oh. Let me get this first, little guy. Besides, there's one down here that you didn't point out to me. <laughs> I may not be trying for Firefly again unless someone feels like being nice to me and donating, but... If I see a chest, I'm gonna F and open it, man. Oh wow. What's with this lag? I turned off certain things. I shouldn't be having these problems. Hard work pays off. Indeedy. I'm sure we'll come here with Stella and everyone else too, but let's just pop these open. I think I still have chest hunting to do in other parts of Panacone. I'm not sure I'll keep showing that, by the way, because it gets boring for me to do. So I can't imagine how you guys feel. Of course, it goes into the side things for a reason. If you don't want to see it, then don't watch it. <laughs> I think that's all the chests in this room. Hello. Greetings, madame. What can I do for you? Hello. Could you tell me more about the Radiant Feldspar? I assume you are the ambassador of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. It's my honor to assist you. The Radiant Feldspar is owned by Mr. Odie Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family. Mr. Alfalfa invested a significant amount in building this luxurious airship an ember era ago, and it has been sailing across the 12 hours of the dreamscape ever since. Okay. Oh, so it's owned by old OD himself. No wonder the ship is so lavishly decorated. Indeed. Mr. Alfalfa has impeccable taste. 
only the most prestigious guests are invited by the Alfalfa family to board this airship. Please allow me to continue my introduction. The Radiant Felspar had been cruising over the Sea of Dreams in Penacony for an entire Ember era. But its voyage was temporarily halted due to the recent reverberation. Reverberation? <laughs> Such a formal way of putting it. You're really downplaying the whole thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I apologize. Please continue. <clears throat> Following the previous reverberation in the Sweet Dream, the Radiant Felspar had to suspend its voyage temporarily. Thankfully, the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved. However, due to, well, certain special reasons, the Charmony Festival originally scheduled at the Panacone Grand Theater had to be temporarily postponed. So, <laughs> Mr. Alfalfa suggested relocating <coughs> the Charmony Festival to the Radiant Felspar, taking this opportunity to announce the resumption of the airship's voyage. Ah, well, that would meet the family's needs and also create momentum for Mr. Alfalfa himself. Quite fitting for a legendary tycoon like him. <laughs> Thank you for explaining matters to me. Goodbye. Well. <laughs> You're so cute. Hello? The talent motivation department? Again? Internal review? Will it ever end? Uh, I'm working on a major project. I don't have time to squabble with you guys. <laughs> I guess this happens really often. Oh, come on. I handled the Urillo case was approved by senior management, and all of the project logs and calls are complete. Can't you check on them yourselves? I just don't understand. Why are you so fixated on this minor case and constantly escalating it? I... Seriously, what's your purpose? No kidding. And wasn't that technically a while ago, if we think in game time? It's probably been a while. Sounds exhausting. 
why not just hang up? Really? You're the one suggesting that? In my opinion, you handled that project quite well. A little ball of ice in exchange for the astral expenses of my favor. That's not a bad deal for the department. <laughs> it's been a while, little Yelena. I've been looking forward to working with you. Never imagined this day would come so soon. Is there trouble? You can tell me anything. Just like old times. Ah, it's been a while, Madam Jade. I'm honored to have the opportunity to work with you. I don't like you. <laughs> Something about her instantly rubs me the wrong effing way. <laughs> I don't like her. <laughs> okay. <sighs> You're still so formal, aren't you? I think I like Kafka better. Forget about the hierarchy and treat me as your equal. No need for unnecessary titles like Madam. <sighs> I'm sorry, but it might take some time to get used to that. After all. You are a senior. Well, now that we're both members of the Ten Stone Hearts, I need you to be at your best. Especially since the upcoming negotiations leave no room for error. Do negotiations ever have room for error? Especially when you guys are involved? As sharp as you are, I'm sure you've figured out the true purpose of this conference, right? I believe old Oti has taken it upon himself to test our limits before the official negotiations between the IPC and Panacone. Sorry, some kids outside are playing. The microphone, I might have caught it. Close the window. Hopefully I don't overheat. <laughs> That's true, and it works in our favor. Do you know why? If we can reach some sort of agreement with old Oti beforehand, and gauge our opponent's boundaries, our future negotiations will go much more smoothly. That's the obvious benefit. Exactly. And the hidden benefit is that, as the head of the Alfalfa family, his actions suggest that the five lineages might not be as united as the Odes of Harmony would suggest. As long as the influence of Harmony hasn't completely permeated their core, personal desires will always have their way. Thankfully, influential figures in Panacone haven't entirely suppressed their own desires. It's similar to the power struggles within the IPC, the supposed all-for-one philosophy shared by the five lineages. It's just a slogan now that the Dream Master has gone. After the downfall of the Yoke family, old Oti's faction became the dominant force in Panacone. Even if we consider only the succession order, he's the longest serving and most senior among all the family heads. Hmm, okay. Yes. Is your ball upside That's down? That's exactly why we need to handle the conference following mm. an agreed-upon strategy. It's like playing a game of chess, where every move needs to be carefully thought out. Absolutely. The three steps of negotiation. Listen, test, and strike. That's what you taught me. Pretty clear. Although, you seem to have changed the order in the Yarilo case. <laughs> Woman, please. <laughs> and that was based on my personal experience. I, I apologize for interrupting your conversation, but the family head is ready to meet the ambassadors from the Strategic Investment Department. Time to get to work. Let's prepare ourselves and meet that esteemed supporting actor. Remember, our goal is to create an opportunity for the IPC to enter Pentacone. Aventurine has already made a small opening, and you and I, we're going to tear it wide open. Mm, I do not like Jade. 
The second she came on screen, something about her just I didn't like. I prefer to deal with Kafka, and that tells you something. <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> Welcome aboard my ship, the Radiant Feldspar. Smart and charming ladies. Please, have a seat. Let's have a pleasant conversation. You're awfully decked out. I really do assume I can come back here again later at some point. <laughs> Welcome aboard, my dear ladies. Forgive me for any lack of attentiveness that might have led to a lengthy wait outside. No problem at all, Mr. Alfalfa. It's my honor to meet you in person. You may not be aware, but the book Odi Alfalfa, the biography, is a must-read for all strategic investment department employees. Really? After all, to many, you are the legendary figure who single-handedly built the Panacone economy. <laughs> I expected no less from the ten stone hearts from the strategic investment department. You're definitely skilled in the art of conversation. It's mocking me sitting there in the background. It's like, you're stuck in a conversation. You can't get me. I'll get you at some point. <laughs> I always enjoy talking to smart people because we don't have to beat around the bush. We can just get straight to the point instead. Since I invited you IPC ambassadors on board, I'm sure you've figured out the topic I'd like to discuss, yes? The future of Panacone, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Precisely. Those few words represent a terribly complicated situation, indeed. Let's take that golden-haired guy who's not showing up, for example. He put in great effort and almost got himself killed. But what was it all for? Wasn't it eventually to create an opportunity for you IPC to regain control of the precious Astana? <laughs> The wisdom and experience you've accumulated over ten Amber Eras are truly impressive. So Amber Eras basically equals one year? I've been curious about that for a while now. <laughs> Let's assume your assumptions are correct, Mr. Alfalfa. How would you respond to the IPC's actions? I appreciate your composure, Miss Jade. You must have witnessed much in your worldly experiences. However, perhaps you don't know much about Penacone. <laughs> Old Oti won't sit idly by when faced with a greedy wolf. <laughs> Please, go ahead. I'm all ears. You got a nice smile, but I something about you I just don't like. <laughs> then I'll be straightforward. I requested this meeting before the official conference to dissuade the strategic investment department from trying to lay a finger on Penacone. If you back off now, you can make a smooth exit and prevent the IPC from losing face during more important negotiations. Now this seems more realistic than that stupid little dream Sunday put together. I mean, come on, that was way too easy for the IPC to just back off like that. I knew something wasn't right when that happened. It's too easy. One of our P-45 executives was attacked and nearly killed in the dreamscape. The IPC can't simply ignore this incident. Moreover, considering the turbulence during the Charmony Festival, Panacone's credibility has taken a hit in the public's eyes. 
Despite your determined attitude, the issues plaguing Penacony are real, are they not? You use the term real, Miss Topaz, but let's not forget that this is the realm of dreams. If you want to succeed here, you need ambition and unconventional thinking. Let's get Himiko in then. Curious about how I plan to respond to the IPC? Well, I don't mind sharing. My actions will help Panacony take a significant step forward by self-listing and going public. What does that mean? Going public? If I'm not mistaken, you want to bypass the IPC and go public on a universal scale. I'm still lost. Precisely. Instead of watching the IPC gnaw away oh. at Panacony, I'd prefer to Duh. open the doors of the sweet dream to the entire universe. Yeah, I had a dirt moment. My bad. I'm slow on the uptake. You guys should know this by now. Starting today, anyone in the cosmos can become a shareholder of the land of the dreams. This is the path of harmony I'll choose. <laughs> it's not like they need the IPC's permission anyway. This reform should have been implemented earlier, but unfortunately, the Oak family were a bunch of blockheads blinded by order. <laughs> Their level of intellectual flexibility doesn't even come close to an old fellow like me. Thanks to the little... Uh, reverberation earlier the biggest obstacle between me and my reforms has been eliminated <laughs> I mean he's not wrong the alfalfa family will publicize the financial results of sweet dream paradise so that the entire universe can see that despite the catastrophe Penacony still holds immense potential and opportunities and that the family remains confident in its future. It's not a bad call to do things that way. It's been an hour, so I'm going to stop and temporarily restart because I have a thing with numbers on my OCD. And storyline-wise, this would end up being video 13. Need I say more? So I'll stop and then restart. Anyone who's here, don't go anywhere.